All right, y'all, your boy been on the move the last couple of days, but I'm back at the crib and I'm working on a couple of bigger videos. I got a What Happened To video and another video that I'm planning for later this week. But today, I've got to address this topic. Now, NCAA Football 14 came out in 2013, all right? Since that time, it has been the only video game available to us college football fans. The game has amazingly managed to stay alive and keep a pretty active community, although a much smaller community than Madden. But the NCAA community is so devout that I was able to build my YouTube channel, even though I didn't even start it until a few years after the game had already come out. And you still have tons of creators today creating content around NCAA Football 14. Why? Well, it just happens to be a goddamn amazing game. It legit may be the best sports game ever made. Like, it's got a very strong argument for it. Now, the main things that's been able to keep the series alive are some of its core features. We're talking the ability to add in updated rosters every single year with the roster share feature, the team builder feature, and the online dynasty feature. All of these three features have one major thing in common. These are online features that are not possible without online servers, obviously. Well, we now have reason to believe that those servers may be going away. And it's really starting to look like this could be, could be the beginning of the end for the NCAA Football 14 video game. EA seems to be slowly but surely phasing out the online features of the NCAA game. First thing to go was the Ultimate Team, and that was a while back. So, you know, I guess no biggie here. You can still technically go into Ultimate Team and play against other people if you already had a team built, but the market and all of that stuff is no longer available. Of course, if you follow the game, that's not news. That, that happened a long, long, long time ago. Then last year, I started to get questions from people about why they could no longer purchase uniform packs from the in-game store. Apparently, that was another feature that slowly kind of slid away. Then the game itself just kind of disappeared from the Xbox and PlayStation digital stores all together so you can no longer purchase the game digitally at one point i thought this may be ea kind of a uh, clearing space to do like a remastered version of this game or make it backwards compatible on xbox one but that didn't really come to fruition and i really wasn't too sure if that was even legal just with the whole you know the legal situation going on despite it being heavily requested on the other uh, backwards compatible list if you go and check out that website. So then a couple days ago, and I'm, I'm moving the rest of my stuff from Mississippi to Louisiana, back to Texas, long story. But while I'm doing that, one of my followers sends me this. It's a screen cap of a portion of a conversation he had with who I assume to be an EA support employee. Now he captioned this screen cap with this. I guess EA Sports is now attempting to kill the NCAA football community or at least the online dynasty community. Now you can see right here on screen how the conversation goes. My man's attempting to log in with the same password, same username that he's been using probably for years at this point, but he can't log into the site. Then Ms. Denise replies, thank you for patiently waiting. Upon checking my resources, it seems that the online dynasty website is no longer functioning as this feature has been sunset. Then he acts straight out. So we no longer have access to the site. Ms. Denise responds, sadly, since the feature has been sunset, the servers are already down, which means you would not be able to use the feature anymore. Now, this isn't the first time I heard something about this. One of my former clients actually emailed me recently and he mentioned this in the email, but he wasn't sure if this was just some temporary, you know, he was just like, yo, the site's down, you know, sites go down. So I didn't see it as a big deal. But then once he sent me this, I was like, oh, then I tweeted out and apparently everybody else had experienced the same exact thing. I went to the site myself, tried to log in, same thing so it's starting to seem like this is only a matter of time before this trickles into everything else currently you're still able to start an online dynasty and maybe it's just a website that went away but you can still do everything that you can do directly from your console although you can't go a little bit more in depth on the website and it helps with people who are in devout online dynasties and i know a lot of people like that they got big money like big stakes you know saying online dynasties i've even trained people in the past like people have hired me for coaching to get things like their user skills up their play recognition up to help them 
in these leagues like some people take this really really seriously so if these features are continuously sunset or even they continue to to disappear man it could officially kill the game now the offline dynasty mode in this game to me is so in-depth it could be more in-depth like 13 is more in-depth but 14 has just way better gameplay in my opinion well what i'm saying is just because of the way dynasty mode is set up i don't think the game will ever fully die but it'll lose a lot if it gets to the point where you can no longer update the rosters or it gets to the point where you know you can no longer do team builder and you can no longer do online dynasty as of right now those features are still safe again this game came out way back in 2013 so i don't even know if you could be mad that this stuff is going away but there are older games that are out there right now that still have the servers up uh, just games i play call of duty comes to mind like you can still play modern warfare 2 online even though it's it's a hacked it's a mess like <laughs> don't get it twisted the game the online gameplay in there it sucks but the servers are still available is the point and that game came out in 2009 not to mention the servers for every single call of duty from that point on are still available so it's not uncommon for these servers to just stay up almost indefinitely as long as some people are still utilizing it so maybe that's the case man maybe they just got rid of the website i have no idea now i know matt in 19 is supposed to have kind of like a roster editor and a roster share feature and i've even seen where some of the guys who make rosters for ncaa are excited about this just because there's a lot less players in the nfl than it is in college so it'll be a lot easier for them to make accurate rosters for this so they were i seen a couple of them it was like yo I, that's they were welcoming that some people may be on that train now that that's available in madden some people were maybe going to move over anyway this could be ea kind of shoving shoving you a little bit more just kind of eh, nudging you on in that direction could be a coincidence it's probably not though no way to really prove it now of course imv is working on their game they have a deal that's been agreed to but the game is still not expected to come out until late 2019 or early 2020 and those business deals can legit take forever for example disney and fox have come to an agreement to get the rest of those marvel characters over the deal is laid out is done is agreed to fox wants to do it disney wants to do it it's still not gonna go through until next summer you know what i'm saying so it, that stuff just takes forever i don't know exactly what be happening in between there i just know it just doesn't happen overnight it takes a while so we have to keep an eye on this bro y'all let me know in the comment section do you think this is the beginning of the end or the online features in this game or did it just get rid of the website because maybe only a small niche community of the small niche community that is that makes up the entire ncaa community at this point maybe only a small portion of them use the website and that could be the case let me know in the comments did you use the online dynasty website or is it something that you never really touched anyway if you enjoyed the video don't forget to click the thumbs up button subscribe if you're brand new my name is flimlo raps and i'll let y'all next time wow. yeah.